Jamaica. I was born in England. Came out here when I was 13. That's about it. My grandfather was already here. He'd had enough in England in 56, I think, or 58. I can't remember. Um, and we just followed him. So I was a mechanic when I was younger. I just came to work for him. He retired and I took it over. I said, See you later. I said, all right, here you go. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> it wasn't much of a transition. I'm 66 now. I have to work. I'd be bored at home. I'm staying here. I source them, we recondition them and sell them. We do a bit of body here and there, mechanical, roadworthies, you know, and then just sell them on. I dislike it when it's quiet, there's nothing to do, it gets very boring. Decline in foot traffic, huge. You don't see them anymore. We used to come in here and on a Saturday morning there'd be people waiting at the gate to look at cars. Good. Um, I'll put you onto Tony, he's advertised it and he knows more about it. The vector tone, got it? I'm Tony and I work here at Stratham Auto Sales. Oh, I've known Mick for 20 odd years. I used to paint the cars for him, that's how I met him. And become friends mm -hmm. and yeah, find myself here. Without swearing, we, we go by a motto here that if it's stuffed, you can't stuff it anymore, so we have a go. Right. So you can either make it worse or make it better. If you make it better, you've done well. If you if you stuff it, it makes no difference because you can buy a new one anyway. That's done it. Keep us out of trouble. Brand new. I have a better tripod than that if you need one. <laughs> yeah. I just like the house, I like the area. Quiet, just a much better place to live. Plenty of room for cars and bikes and anything I want really. There's a lot of swords, lots of lot of boxing memorabilia, cricket memorabilia. Yeah, just whatever really took me fancy at the time. Shit. My grandfather, he was a a runner in England, run in three Olympic Games. My father was the British one mile champion. Me, I just liked fast cars and fast motorbikes. <laughs> Didn't run at all. Can you tell us about your, your wife, maybe when you met her, how you met her? Um. Oh, that's a funny story. You don't probably want to hear this one. Don't, um. s don't zoom into the wrinkles too much. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wrinkles, what are you talking about? Oh God. I like it, right? But it's not my name. Oh, what, what is? Mm, my name is Beatrice, with oh. a Z at the end, yes. Right. How'd you meet me? I met Mick through my ex-boyfriend. We sort of turned up at the yard one day. Mick came out, started asking me questions about my car and I was wondering why is he asking me questions about my car? I used to lend money out to people, short term, with huge interest. Loan shark? Sort of, yeah. Anyway, my accountant one day sent a bloke down that needed some money and he had Betty with him. It was his girlfriend at the time. Borrowed a bit more and wasn't gonna pay it back. So we got all of him, he paid it back and I finished up with his girl as well and married her. And eight months later we were married. So if our son came home now and said after eight months that he was getting married, I'd freak out. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. I, but we did it, different so time. yeah, different time, yeah. Ah, oh, it's dead. We're doing nothing here. These days they just talk shit. Nobody's words any good anymore. On the internet, it's, it's ridiculous. They say, oh, what's your best price? You haven't even seen the car yet. How do you know if you like it? You know, it might be too cheap. You might want to give me some more. A lot of people wasting time just on the internet, checking a hundred cars, you know, just- They've nothing better to do. Yeah, nothing better to do. Just late at night and they're on the internet and they're checking used cars. They don't really want to buy one, but they're inquiring on them. 
and they don't understand. Every inquiry costs us money. I dislike it when it's quiet, there's nothing to do, it gets very boring, but when it's busy, it's, it's good fun.